guys, today I'm here to share with you three very special recipes of my favorite kind of homemade chocolate. So a while ago I started making my own chocolate and since I started I haven't been able to go back to the store bought chocolate because it's just like a different, totally different league. The homemade chocolate is made of raw ingredients, raw cacao powder and raw cacao butter. So it's going to be full of antioxidants. And it's more expensive, but it's worth it because it's really more like superfood, almost like a food supplement. It's full of all kinds of antioxidants and it's full of magnesium and full of iron. So it's so good for you. And what can be better than eating something delicious and not having to feel guilty? I love homemade chocolate. I hope that you're going to enjoy these recipes. They're super easy. I hope you'll give them a try. If you do, let me know as always. And let's just jump in. The first recipe is my favorite and that's energy boosting chocolate truffles. You're going to need a small pot like this just to melt the cacao butter and talking about cacao butter it's best if you use it raw because it's going to be more beneficial for your health. And then I like chopping it into smaller pieces just to make the melting easier and quicker. And then I melt it um, on very low fire and I don't keep it on the fire all the time. Just kind of put it on the fire, take it off to make sure it doesn't boil and doesn't lose all those wonderful, wonderful things that it has. So once it's ready, I add it to a little bowl and then it's time for the next ingredient, which is coconut oil. And again, it's best if you use um, virgin cold pressed oil. So I'm going to add that to the cacao butter. And then the next ingredient is raw cacao powder. Again, you can use regular cacao powder, but the raw one just has so much more benefits for your health. So I like using that. And I'm adding that to all the oils and I'm mixing it until it's all smooth. At the beginning, there'll be a lot of uh, kind of small pieces in it, but as you mix it, um, it's going to become really smooth. And then the next ingredient is almond meal. I love using it because it gives it more more thickness, more body, it's more filling. It gives a bit of a crunch as well, so I definitely like adding that. My choice of sweetener, and that's rice syrup. It's actually my favorite sweetener because it's all glucose, it doesn't have any fructose, so it works really, really well for me. The next step is taking some coconut flakes, putting them in a little bowl, and then I take some of that chocolate mixture and try to shape it into a bowl. I know it's difficult at this point, but that's okay. And then I roll it in that coconut flake mixture just to kind of make it less sticky and once it's all coated then I take it in my hands and I roll it like this to make it into a nice ball and the first one is ready and then I do the same with all the others until I have all these beautiful even balls and for storing you can keep them either in the freezer or the fridge I prefer the freezer because they become harder and the texture is so much better so here we are, we just finished the first recipe. The energy balls are so good for you, they're so easy to make and they're so full of nutrients. Recipe number two is the Chia Goji Berry Superfood Chocolates, which are my cat's favorites. So you'll need some goji berries and you want to soak them overnight or at least for a few hours to make them soft and puffy and they just taste so much better. So all you need to do is just add them to a little glass and add some water and leave them for at least a few hours. Once your berries are ready, you will need to chop up the cacao butter and melt it. And once it's ready, you're gonna add it to a little bowl and then add the coconut oil, or you can use cacao butter alone, but I find it really expensive, so I like mixing it with coconut oil to make it more affordable. Then you're going to add the cacao powder, mix everything together until it's all smooth. And then the next ingredient is chia seeds. I just love them because it's so full of magnesium and calcium and so many different minerals and vitamins. They're just real superfoods. Again, I mix everything together and then I'm taking those berries that are nice and puffy by now. I add them to the chocolate and aren't they beautiful? I love the color, I love the taste. Some people hate them, but I actually really like them. The next ingredient is the panela sugar, which is also called rapadura sugar and it's raw and processed sugar with all the molasses intact. I love using it, but you can use any kind of sweetener that you like. And again, I mix everything together and just make the sugar melt into everything else. Okay, so now the chocolate mixture is ready. Now it's time to get the mold. So I'm going to use this plastic mold, but I, to be honest, I prefer the silicone mold, but I'm going to use that for the next recipe. You're going to see that a bit later. So as this is the only other thing I had, I'm just using these plastic ones. But if you have a silicone mold, definitely use the silicone one because it's so much easier to use and to wash and to do everything else. So now it's ready and all I need to do is put it in the freezer or the fridge and wait for a little bit until they harden up. 
and then it's time to take them out of the molds and enjoy them. So here they are, totally ready. They're delicious, um, quite untraditional tasting, but I absolutely love them and I hope you like them too. And my kitten loves them. Okay, this is the other kitten as well. So the last recipe is the grappa raisin and hazelnut chocolate. My husband loves these, he asks them for them every single week. So you're going to need a handful of raisins, around two raisins for each of the chocolates, and you're going to soak them in grappa. Mm -hmm. Yes, but you can also use cognac or brandy or any kind of liqueur, rum, anything you have on hand. We have grappa and we love grappa, so that's what we're gonna use. Just leave them soaking for a few hours or overnight. And then I'm going to add some coconut oil to a little mixing bowl. I'm not going to use cacao butter for this recipe because I just find it so much better with just coconut oil alone. Then I add some cacao powder, mix it all together, and then I add the raisins when they're ready. And if you're wondering what I do with a grappa, the remaining grappa, I just drink it because it's so good. And then I add some vanilla sugar or rice syrup, whatever I have on hand. And these are my silicone molds that I was talking about earlier. They're just so much better, I love them. And then I'm also using some hazelnuts without the skin. And through trial and error and loads of loads of mess, I realized that the best way to do this is to fill the mold up halfway and then add the hazelnut and then fill it up all the way and in this way the hazelnuts kind of stays in the middle and you don't overfill and you don't make a mess and then i just fill all of the remaining molds in the same way let me tell you these chocolates are the best ones so i just put them in the freezer or fridge for a bit and then take them out i love them because the texture is so smooth yet there's this surprising crunchy hazelnut inside and they still taste so grappa I love this recipe because it's all full of coconut oil and coconut oil is so good for your guts and for your mind, for everything in your body and I always look for ways to consume coconut oil and this is such a great way to consume it and enjoy it so I hope you're going to enjoy it too. So I really hope that you enjoyed these recipes and you'll give them a try. I've got my energy balls here, I cannot wait to eat them. Oh, they're amazing, I love them. I also wanted to mention that I've been feeling much better. I've been feeling this steady and calm energy. So whatever I'm doing is working, it seems. So the next video I'm going to film is going to be about all of the things I'm doing to heal my thyroid naturally. So if you have any kind of thyroid problems or energy problems, then you'll probably really find this video interesting. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.